Now we move on to reporting a non-tariff barrier. In order to do so, click on the orange icon labeled Report an NTB Online. A form will appear with options to register your complaint. Underneath Reporting Country, specify your country of origin with the drop-down menu. This is the country from where you are trading the goods. Below is where you will fill in the details of the occurrence. Firstly, select the country in which you have experienced the trade barrier by selecting from the drop-down menu. You will then have the option to select the type of location where the incident occurred, for example, airport, border post, seaport, etc. Once you have selected the relevant type of border post, to the right you will need to further specify which specific location in the country you experienced the barrier. A drop-down menu will provide the different locations. Go ahead and select the relevant location. If the exact border post is not provided in the drop-down menus, please select Other and specify the details. The important next step is the description of the non-tariff barrier. Click on the date of occurrence where a calendar will appear where you can specify the date on which the barrier occurred. Next, click on the drop-down menu to select the type of non-tariff barrier. If none of the options apply to you, please choose Other. If you are not sure or find this too complicated, don't worry and just leave the field blank. Don't select anything. The next text field is mandatory, so make sure you fill in a detailed description of the trade barrier or incident that you have experienced. It's really crucial that you provide as much information as possible and all the details. The more information you provide, the easier it will be for the responsible government officials to help you to remove the barrier. We now move along to the details of the affected product. In this field, please describe the affected product. This may be textiles, food, machinery, etc. Please be as specific as possible. Now, navigate below to the Product Value section. This is an optional section. Select your currency from the drop-down menu. Below, specify the consignment value affected by the NTB. Then, in the next text field, the annual trade value affected by the NTB. We are nearly done. The final step is to attach any relevant documentation that may be relevant to the complaint. Again, this is particularly important. For example, if a document was rejected by customs, attach a scan or photo of the document. You can also take pictures of the situation you are facing. Every bit of information helps the responsible government officials in helping you. In order to upload a file, click the Choose File tab and Add. Finally, click on the green tab at the bottom of the page to submit your complaint. If any mandatory fields are incomplete, you'll be prompted to review the form. All mandatory fields are marked with a red asterisk. Once you have submitted the complaint, a page will appear with the details of the complaint. In order to track your complaint, log in with your email and password. On the top left corner of the screen under your account, Click on Complaints you have registered. A list of your submitted complaints will appear. In order to view the details of each complaint, click on the blue View tab on the far right column. Please note that you will only see occasional updates and that most of the resolution process is treated confidentially between the respective governments. So, even if you don't see an update, your case is still in progress. Once submitted, your complaint will be processed by formally nominated and trained government officials, so-called national focal points, with the support of the AFCFTA Secretariat. Resolved complaints will appear beneath the status column on the far right. Don't wait. Start reporting NTBs and trade easier.